the wind is blowing outside. It's a cool breeze. We are a democracy. We are a young group of thinkers and doers. Even if our bodies are old, we are young. And we are thinkers and doers. And the United States is a breeding ground for people that innovate. It's a technological and innovative society. And until the next election, it will also be a warlike society. I think the United States in, invariably in the last 50 years has been, maybe even more, 60 years, almost 70, has been in war mode, has been in reaction mode. But now that the young people, the people with innovation on their minds are taking back control by being the ones that are heard. Control is not through the dollar bill. Control is through the voice, through the word of mouth, through just the essence of being. It's not control. We don't control each other. We exist with each other. We give each other confidence to be what we want to be, to exude the truth and the freedom that we have in our minds, that we are. We are free. We are free people living in a society that is currently run by a group of people that are functioning in an archaic form of war. It used to be the best way to get what you needed or what you wanted was to take it. Now it's easier to communicate. Think long term people. Don't think about right now what you want in this moment. Think about what's going to happen. Look at the past. Look at the video of the past of the last wars and see that it wasn't the best way. It seemed like the best way at the time because the aggressor had a larger military. But it's not the best way. It's not the most effective way. The most effective way is to communicate and set up a system where both people get something. Now we have a voice so we can say what we think and we can offer each other what we have and that's how things are changing not through the fucking political system through this through communication not through me Ian Crossland the other there's just another animal amongst this group of animals we're all doing this, all of us.